Hey, what's up everybody? Master Ali here. So the other day I had a family take their belt out of their bag and their belt kind of looked like this and it hurt me on the inside and it reminded me that I haven't taught everybody how to properly store your belt. So whether you are a white belt or a third degree black belt, if you're not using your belt, I would like to suggest that you always tie it. So that way you show respect for your belt. Your belt represents your hard work, it represents your skill, it re represents what you've done on the practice floor. And so we wanna be respectful of our belt and of our work. So first thing you're gonna do is tie the belt in half this way, or not tie it, fold it in half, and then fold it in half again. And then you're just gonna tie a knot. And so from here, you hold the belt with your palms up, one side goes over, the other side goes over, and then the, the easy way is the side that has it folded this way is just gonna go through, tuck it in, and then pull it. So then it looks like a tied belt, because it is, and then this belt can be stored in your bag or by your shoes or somewhere, and maybe even you hang it up uh, on a hook or something at home, so that way it never is on the ground. I don't want your belt on the ground. Even as you're tying it, sometimes you'll see me use my foot to, to make sure that the belt doesn't touch the floor as I'm tying it around someone or retying my own belt. So this is how I want you to store your belt if it's not on you.